But first, dressed in yellow jail garb, 27-year-old Joel Tage faced a judge for the first time today. He is charged with second-degree murder in the shooting death of a teenage boy in downtown Spokane. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Andrahan. Welcome everyone. I'm Jane McCarthy. The shooting happened around this time last night, leaving that 15 year old boy dead. According to court documents, the shooting happened over a $5 marijuana pipe. Graham 2, Shana Walltower was in court as Tate faced a judge today. She has more now on where the case goes now. A tragic night last night after a minor was shot and killed just near where I'm standing right now. As you can see, there's already a memorial that's in this place. I spoke with local business owners and they say it would look like students or friends of the victim came and placed these flowers here shortly after they heard what happened. Court documents say it all started after the victim and some of his friends were hanging out around 601 West Riverside. That's when the group met up with Tate and another male. The documents say Tate then gave one of the victim's friends a marijuana smoking pipe and tried to sell it to them for $5. The victim's friend declined but refused to give the pipe back to Tate. That's when the situation turned hostile. A witness says they started arguing and Tate reached behind his back like he was grabbing a weapon. The victim and his friends then started chasing him along East Sprague but stopped near Howard and Riverside. The documents say they were there until two younger children came and told the victim and his friends that Tate had threatened them with a gun. That's when the victim ran to find him and Tate rose from behind a car and shot him in the neck. People in the area performed CPR on the victim and he was taken to the hospital but did not survive. The documents say Tate was attempting to get inside of a building located at 217 Spokane Falls Boulevard and shortly after he got inside, that's when police found him. Is he a threat to the community? Is he a danger to the community? Now today, Tage had his first appearance in court. He is currently unemployed and lives intermittently with his parents. His bond is set at $200,000. Now the judge says she realizes Tage's bond seems like it's a little low, but her decision was based on her balancing Tage's financial circumstances along with the severity of the crime that he's been charged with. In downtown Spokane, Shana Walltower, Crime 2 News.